Here are the two different ways I tell my students to complete the square when a is not equal to one, if they need to identify the vertex or if they need to be able to solve the quadratic equation. So if they need to be able to identify the vertex, I like to keep everything on the same side. So I tell them to use the grouping technique, which is to group the two terms and then factor out whatever your coefficient is of x squared. Now what you're gonna go and do is go ahead and complete the square. And just be remember though, whatever you add inside this parenthesis is being multiplied by four. Also, whatever you add inside this parenthesis, you have to subtract on the same side. So again, you're, to find this value, C, you're gonna take B, two, divided by two, and then squared. Two divided by two is going to be one. One squared is one. So again, remember, add and subtract on the same side. This one is being multiplied by four. So this one needs to be multiplied by four. Now what I can simply do is go ahead and factor this down to a binomial squared, and I can identify my vertex. All right, now in solving though, I typically, we want to be able to isolate the x, right? We want everything over to the other side. So I like to use the dividing approach. Now, if we're solving this, we know that our y is now going to be equal to zero, and I'm just gonna start working as much everything over to the other side as I can. So for instance, I'll start with the three. Now, I need to get rid of the four, just like I did up there. But rather than factoring out the four, I'm just going to divide both terms by four, or both sides by four. Now, same thing, I need to be able to identify, and I need to make sure I divide by four, so four, that's going to be a two x. But now, in this case, rather than adding and subtracting on the same side, like I did up here, now what I'm simply gonna do is I'm going to take find my value c, again, two divided by two, is one, one squared is one. I'm going to add a one to the right side and I'm also going to add a one to the left side. One plus three fourths is the same thing as three fourths plus one. So now I'm adding them to both sides. Now you recognize I can again factor this down to by binomial squared. And I can also understand that one is the same thing as four over four. So therefore four over four plus three over four is going to be a seven fourths equal to x plus one quantity squared. Now to go ahead and solve, I'm gonna take the square root of both sides and I'm gonna get a x plus one is equal to the square root of seven over two, and then just subtract a one on both sides, and I get my final answer of square root of seven divided by two minus, oh, da, 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 da. Don't forget that you need to have your plus or your minuses. So that is a plus or minus square root of seven over two. Subtract the one on both sides, and what I get is a negative one plus or minus the square root of seven over two.